let me sing it properly. <clears throat> What's cooking? <laughs> Welcome to What's Cooking right here on City TV. My name is Apioko. Now, you've seen that I'm chopping something. I'm sure you're wondering what it is. They're potatoes. But I won't tell you just yet what we're going to cook. I'll leave that to your imagination for just a little while. But I'm sure you're even more curious about who my guest is today. Now, she is fabulous, she's gorgeous, she's intelligent, and extremely talented. And yeah, she has something to do with singing. So when we come back, we find out who our guest is and we get what's cooking right here in this What's Cooking kitchen. Welcome back. We call this show What's Cooking here on City TV. And if you're just joining us, I just say that we're doing something with potatoes, but I'll leave the explanation of what that is to my guest. So with the biggest brass band you have, with all the drums that you can rally, with all the strings in the world, let's welcome the Kokwi Salome Hansen. <laughs> I'm going to do practice my hurdles skills. Yes, I Hi, Hi, Hi so Kokri. We oh. finally have you in the worst cooking <laughs> Finally. I've, 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 okay, I won't say I've dodged, but you know, it, it, I've been caught, you've see, caught see, me. You're coming today. To, to expose <laughs> today you've caught yourself. Me. Oh, oh, no problem. I'm so, I'm so glad to be here. And Let me put on my apron. It's great to have you. Yes, please. Thank you. My what's cooking apron. And now, if you don't know who Kokri is, then you don't deserve to be watching this show. Mm. Big. See, Kokwe. It's all good. So let me start from the media side of her. She's a radio host, radio presenter, television host, presenter. Um, but she's an opera classical singer and, and she's trained. She, that's what she went to school for. And Can I'm sure imagine? we'll talk a little bit Can about you imagine? that. You know, she's a mother of four wonderful kids. I mean, she's got three boys and a girl, you know. Um, she she does a lot of things. She has a fashion line where she uses batik, locally made fabric here in Ghana, to make amazing fashion pieces. Look, she, she's just an all-around enigma of a creative, and it's it's a blessing to have you in the kitchen today. Thank you, and yeah. I'm, I'm blessed to be here. Thank yeah. you. So what all are right. we making? We are making I mean, you told something me to drop some things. But yes, <laughs> I asked you to get, and you've done so well. Thank you, Thank you. Your So I think we're going to make something very simple. Okay. You know how it is. The kids are home. Mm. <sighs> it's vacation. Mm. They're eating everything in the mm. house, and they're always <laughs> hungry. So I just wanted to make something that's very simple and that every kid loves to eat. And we call it Hungry Hansen Chicken and Chips. Oh, Hungry Hansen Chicken and Chips. I yes. love it. I love it. So, so you don't need to chips. go out and buy it. You can you make, can it, make at home. it at home. Yeah. You know, and they'll always eat it. That idea yeah. guaranteed. <laughs> no fuss about it. Okay, so, so yeah. we're cutting. Oh, so that's so, why. Mm. Yeah, we're making the chips from scratch. We're, okay. we're, 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 okay. <laughs> we've given ourselves a bit of work. And these are potato so chips. These are potatoes. So okay. Appy is just okay. slicing up the potatoes so nicely, which is great. We've got our chicken there, which we'll season shortly. And then we'll try and put everything together as quickly and simply as possible. But yeah, it's just very simple. So okay. do the kids help you do this sometimes? Well, I trust my <laughs> oldest, who is 11, to handle the knife. The other three... They'll end up turning them into it swords. Could, it could be something else, you know. <laughs> the nine-year-old is almost there. He could do it, you know. But it's, it's, it's how they would relate to each other in the yeah. kitchen. That's mm. the problem. Okay. Mm. All right. So while you're doing that, okay. I'm going to grab... These okay. juicy looking drumsticks okay. over here. Let's see how okay. that goes. So I'll just, okay, since so all the spices, spices and stuff are here, here, I think I'll just. You know how it is when you're doing open air kitchen. Yeah, you've got you to know. cover everything up. Okay. Spices I'm not sure you all move this to the side here. Okay. Okay. So we've got our chicken. Our chicken. And we're going to, I like to steam my chicken okay. before frying it okay. to make sure 
the, the, the inside cooks well because mm. we don't want any red chicken. Now, some people will fry it straight up without steaming, and it's fine. No, no, me, Everybody I like has the their steaming, method. Please. I like the steaming too. And it's more tender as well. Right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I agree. Okay, so we've got salt here. We definitely will need our salt. I won't dip my hand straight into it. Okay. So I'll just try and sprinkle a bit of salt over our All chicken. Right. Yeah, you're cooking like a mother, cooking from the heart, <laughs> Charlie. You know, we know they measure no, already. We, we don't have time for we that. We ain't got no. time for measurements, no, but no. I would maybe you know a few tablespoons of salt. We I all you know. Put, okay. Okay. I'll hold it there because we've got other mixed seasonings and stuff. Okay. And cubes, so we don't want to overdo it. Now I think this is ginger. Yes, so that's ginger powder. We'll put a bit of ginger powder on there as well. Alrighty. Try not to let the, the wind. But why away ginger too much. powder? I like the spiciness of ginger. So it gives it, it won't burn you, but it will give you a nice kick of spice. So you know, and you know ginger also good. has zinc. Of course, yeah, so great for the I mean, kids, it's good for you, for isn't it? So if I'm right, hold on, let me just. All right. Okay. Mix the spices there. So that's let's put nice some of mix. that on there. Yeah, like an all season. A nice all spice. Yeah. Okay. And then some let's put a bit of, some yes. Anise. What's a bit of anise kitty, on there? Yeah. That gives it a nice. Yeah. Scent and flavor as well. We might add a little bit of that. Okay. A little bit more. We're smelling Rose so herby. Rose me. Mm. Yeah. You put me in your I've already put a bit of salt, which means okay. any added mixed seasoning I'm going to put, I have There's to be a bit more careful. There's some spices under this plate. Under this, this plate. Yes. So we've got some bouillon cubes, and then some shrimp powder. Oh. So, so, so the powder has onion, shrimps. Okay. This um, does. We'll put yes. a bit of mixed seasoning yes. on there as well. Okay. Bearing in mind. Our sodium content right. as well. Okay. Wonderful. And then the chicken bouillon cubes and okay. shrimp bouillon cubes. I will put one chicken bouillon cube, okay. cube because again, I've already put a bit of salt. And okay. this also has salt. And then our batter will also be salted. Okay. So let's just see how it goes. Oh. Now, okay. since I'm going to have to mix this, where's that? Okay, can you hand me that saucepan? This one? Okay, so for our steaming. Is this big enough? I think this should be right. big enough for all this chicken. I think okay. so. So we'll be steaming this. I'm going to transfer this here. Okay. And then, you, do we have a bigger spoon that we can use to mix? I think yes, we, we do. could use probably a bit One more of the seasoning on here. Do. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. So let's stir it up a bit, see what we've okay. got. Now, if I were at home, I'll probably use my hands. Yeah, you're trying to be, and, you're and trying dig, to be dig posh in, on TV. You know, plus, to be proper on plus TV. if I do that, I'll have to wash my hands before we continue. Yeah. So, you know, so we don't want to get salmonella okay. on the no, 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 we don't. vegetables and stuff. So let's just stir. Okay. okay. Hopefully this will be enough to get us going. All right. So let's straight For onto the chicken. fire. Yep. Okay. okay. There we go. I think our potatoes will be a lot simpler because we've already cut them. They're already nice and fresh looking. So we have enough. We have enough potatoes, okay. I think, for the purposes of this. Um, I can use this water to boil. Yes, we can. Okay. We'll put a little bit of salt in the potatoes okay. as well. Oh, so we're and boiling. And we're not, yeah, like we'll, par boiling. Par boiling. Okay. So it won't, it won't cook through and through, but just to quicken okay, the, process. the process. Yeah, just a so, little bit. So, I mean, then. just to, to clarify, one way, especially when you have hungry kids waiting for you and they come, <laughs> Mommy, I'm hungry. Mommy, is in the food right? And the more they can talk, the, the ruder they get about it. I know, right? You know, so okay. you can par boil. As Kokui is, is letting us see, power boil the chips. So instead of tossing it. them straight into the hot oil, mm. you can just boil them a little, let them cook okay. slightly, not okay. all the Put way through, and then it quickens the process. I know, right? I need to keep this stock for mm. something. And our potatoes, I think, are power boiled enough. So, so we we're going to gonna strain. strain those, yes. So I'm going to take these over to the sink to be strained. And yes, please. All right. Okay. We can strain right. it here. I'll, let me just take off the lid and pour them in here. Okay. Careful. So just All half right. cooked, basically. Just yes. Okay. Power just boiled. To, power boiled. Just so that our frying will be a okay. little quicker. There's a couple All right. just at the bottom here, and those at the bottom it looks like they so actually cooked a bit. <laughs> they cooked a bit. Ones. Some recalcitrant ones. Okay. Okay. So we're done with that for now. Okay, so now we're going to get ready to fry our chicken. Now, okay. we can leave those to strain in a bowl somewhere. Right. Well, so maybe fact, this one. Let's recycle one. our saucepan that we cooked them okay. in so we can Wonderful. just stick that in there. Okay. There we 
go. And then we'll set okay. it off so you want to, fry to the side this? for now. Um, yes, please. Okay. I'll fry in that so one so we can empty it. and the then water out. Okay. So we'll, well. we'll let our potatoes Kindly just sit empty for a minute for while Thank we you. deal with our chicken. Okay. Okay, so our chicken. Now Sorry that we need to chop it up anymore, or it, we're just keeping it drumstick mode. We'll keep it drumstick mode, but okay. we will um, batter them. So we're going okay. to batter our chicken. So for okay. our batter, we're going to use some flour, some cornstarch. This is the cornstarch. See how she sings this is her words on flour. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll put the flour here. Okay. So I'm just going to. I'll, I'll right make here. the batter in this bowl. Okay. So we'll put in some flour. I think we'll, we'll probably okay, so end up using quite a bit of flour. flour. Normal, normal wheat flour Ashikisha. that you use to bake. Ashikisha. Ashikisha. Uh -huh. we use for our, our, our brodo and, uh, and everything, everything. everything flour based. Nice. You know. Then we'll use some cornstarch. We'll okay. make some cornstarch with it. Okay. So I'll use just a bit of the cornstarch. I won't use all of it because all we'll right. use some of it for the French fries. What's the reason for mixing the, the So the cornstarch is going to help us to dry the chips out even more and make them a bit crunchier. Okay. So mm. the mixing it with the flour helps, mm, helps you know. So that. it has the batter but also has a bit okay, of crunch. crunch. Um, but then we'll give more crunch. So we've got like the, the flour. Fast, the fast food crunch but at home. You know but at home. Yeah. Okay. So we've got our flour, we've got our cornstarch. We'll season it a bit as well. Okay. So when you're biting it, it also has a bit of flavor. Okay. So let's put a bit more of this seasoning powder in there. So again, this is onion. Okay. Um, this is onion. There's I think there's garlic in there. Some shrimp. garlic in there as well. So we'll put that in okay. the flour. <laughs> that was <works> so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger, maybe else? we don't need. Um, Ginger. You can hold on. Okay. What do we have so here as well? Pretty ones. A little bit of these pretty ones. Maybe we can just add a, okay. a dab, a pinch or so. What did I put? Oh. It's like a chicken spice, chicken allspice mm -hmm. kind of thing. Maybe a little bit. Okay. So that because I'm not going to put salt in the flour okay. this time. So a little bit of that okay. to mix in. Okay. okay. I think that should be okay. Just keeping it simple with the, with the we'll, batter. We'll keep it simple with the batter for this time around. Okay. And we'll mix it up. Now, okay, let me grab it. Okay. One of the Is spatulas okay? there. I think that's fine. Okay. We'll just mix it up a bit. Then the small bowl there, if you could mm. grab that for me quickly because we're going to use that what we're going to do with that one is do a so wet mix this out for me just a little bit okay okay so <laughs> Aso. yes i is busy today because of the city i want us to you know you know a bit of soap in it. all right okay. so it will just just mix the flour just a little, a little bit of mix in the flour Hopefully we've got Can we enough. Can taste it? You will, please go ahead. Dip, I'll dip, drop a little bit on your hand. Yeah. Yes. See if there's any. Is there enough salt in there? Or should Maybe we put some more salt? Bit, yeah, just a tiny bit. A tiny bit of salt. Mm. Here's salt. But that's some tasty flour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. We'll put a little bit of salt. Okay. Remember, there's already salt in good. the chicken. Yeah. So we don't want to overdo our sodium. Okay, let's mix it okay. up. Little bit, little bit. Okay, now we're gonna grab one egg. Alrighty. And just one. We'll use that milk as well. Yeah. Okay, so we're waiting for our bowl to get okay, back, so right? Let me get it. Okay. Once that comes back. I saw some bowl ready. <laughs> okay, she's bringing it right over. I saw us bringing our bowl. So we yeah. can do what we gotta do. Okay, so we're going to make a wet batter as well. So what we have here is fresh milk. Oh. Okay. Is it Let me whole move milk? this out of the way. This is whole. Okay, so whole um, maybe those of you who want to use semi-skim, you can use eh, your semi-skim, eh, eh. okay? But this is whole. So we've got Pots the dry, and then we're this. gonna make the wet. Okay. Now, I'm going to crack the egg into the bowl. Do I have a fork? No, okay, doesn't matter. It's okay. Okay. Fine. So we'll crack our egg. There we are. We need somewhere to dump this. Okay. And grab a piece of tissue here. Thank you. Put this away for now. Okay. We'll be mixing okay, our whole here. milk and our egg. And that's going to be Thank our you. wet dip for our chicken. Okay. Fork is here. Fork Fantastic. Is here. Okay. I'll just beat the egg a little bit. Like Mash up the yolk. Okay. We'll beat our egg. Just a little. Okay. It's nice up. and mixed up. 
All right, now let's pour some of this milk in here. So that's approximately, approximately how much milk? This this looks like it's probably two cups, maybe okay. a, yeah, a cup and a half, two cups. But it's fine because so we're just going to. It? We'll use at least what's here. Okay. If we run out, we run, but I think it should be enough for the okay. amount of chicken we have. Okay. Right. So this is now mixed together with the egg, looking all nice and yes, it is milky. You know. Okay. Yeah. So what we'll do is this. We'll take our chicken. Now my hands are clean. They've been washed. Okay. So I'm going to take the chicken one by one. We'll take one piece of chicken. First, we're going to dip it in the flour mix. Okay. Okay. So we'll dip it in the flour mix. Ooh. I'll do one to start off with, and then I'll do more. And if you like, some people might like to shake, shake, shake. Okay. But then you'll shake off the excess batter. Okay. So you've got a nice coating like this. Now, after this first coating, then we're going to dip it into our lovely milk mix here and get it nice and wet mm. okay this looks like fun Charlie then after we get it nice and wet let it drip off a bit then dip number two. Oh. Mm. so it's a three layer so it's a whole it's, it's a whole dipping and this is not for children <laughs> it's for them to eat okay wow yeah so we've got that Bam. Okay. Okay. We'll put that there. So, okay. what's the reason for the three layers? The double chip. So you got yeah. so so you can get some crunch so in there. Okay. Inside, let outside. The moisture. A nice Na layer in oh, there. And I guess you know. But is you this can something get... that kids can help with? Like at this point. Oh, by this do they, they can. They do. The only thing is just maybe for those who are a bit younger, yeah. they might get a bit messy. But yeah. it's okay. At least they're learning. It's part of the fun. And they though. love it. So I'm going to put it in. Okay. It's hot enough. Yeah. Okay. Cool. When you put those in, we're actually going to cover it. Oh, we're going to, to fry it. We'll cover it to fry. Okay. This is like a proper One. deep fry. Like a proper, proper deep fry, juicy fry, okay. and then we'll wait. So it looks like the oil needs to heat up just a tiny a little, little bit, bit, more. just a little bit more. Okay, okay cool. so let's go for a break. Uh, we're here, we're doing the hungry <laughs> Hansen Fried chicken, chicken and chips. Chicken and chips. <laughs> Hungry Hansen chicken and chips. Look, it's a lot of fun. It's messy. Something you can do with the kids. And I can guarantee that from the way it's smelling and the way it looks, it must be tasty. We'll be right back. This is What's Cooking with Kokwi. <laughs> And today I'm cooking with the Kokui Salome Hansen and cooking up a storm here. So our fried chicken is ready. Yeah, it's yes. ready. And I'm getting hungry. Thing. So some yep. drumsticks, some spices. I mean, you have the ingredients on the screen. And then we dipped it in, in, um, our, batter. in our batter. Yes. Yeah. Very then simple. Wet and dry. Yeah. All that coated. Very quick. Good to go. Very quick. But now it's time to fry. The french fries or the chips, potato chips, as yep. we like to call them in some parts of the world, including Ghana, right? I know, right. And they've been parboiled already. Yes, so yes. we parboiled them. Now, of course, most of us will just go to the shop, get the frozen one and save our time. Ooh. But for the purposes of what's cooking, we're yeah. actually doing it from scratch. But it didn't take that yeah. long. No, it didn't it take that long very... to parboil. Yeah. Um, so we're just, we're going to coat it in a little bit of cornstarch. Okay. And I guess we'll do it, do it in, in the, the pan. pan. Um, so you know, just, gently, so that they don't, don't they don't break apart. So we parboil yeah. them just a little bit to soften them a bit. So it shouldn't boil to cook through and through because we're going to fry it. Um, the cornstarch will help again with the crispy, crunchy kind of feel. And then the other trick I learned was you can coat it with cornstarch. We don't have a plastic or Ziploc bag. Then you could just shake it so oh, that okay. the cornstarch goes so all over. But we're doing everywhere. it in the pan. We are doing it Ghana style. Doing it. And then the other thing is you can, once you get that first coating of cornstarch, 
you double fry. Can you imagine? But we're not going to double fry here because, but uh, at home, yeah, apparently you can, you put it on, you fry it once, let it cool, and then you can even keep them in the freezer. So that when you want yeah, to fry it for your kids, then you just, then you just put it up, again. you fry it. So, but That's we're not so going to do cool. the double fry. We're going to okay. do a single fry. So you're doing a Ghana style. I'm just going to toss, toss it a toss, little toss, bit. Toss. <laughs> so you need some more of the fry. I think so. For these bottom mm -hmm. ones. Yes, Help please. Okay. Okay. Let's just get so just enough okay. to give a light coating, and I think we've got enough here. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so we're we're not we're not drenching bathing. it. No, no, we're just not enough. Bathing the potatoes and the flour. No. Not at all. Just coating them. Just coating them a like little, little bit. Little ladies. Little ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so once we have enough, and this one, you know, they're quite coated here. Okay. So I think that's cool. Right. We can, we've got our oil heating on I'm the fire. Oh, oil looks hot. Yeah, it does. Very hot. It does actually. Okay. Um, so we can go. We've got one more spatula here, so maybe okay. we'll use that for now. Careful, I know it's very hot. I'm know. wondering if we should. Yeah, just move it over. A move bit. it a bit. Okay. Let it cool a little. Because it's flame, smoking. Mm. Yeah, it's smoking. Really hot. Okay. So yes, you want your all hot, but you don't want it to scald your chips. So. Or or your face. <laughs> or your or, or your anything hands. else. Or your, <laughs> or your hands or anything else. So. Quite a bit of cornstarch on there, hopefully to give it another crisp. So if you're at home and you do it, you can do the cornstarch, fry it once, not not till it's totally, totally brown, just fry it a bit, then take it out, cool it, and then put it in a Ziploc and freeze it. Okay. Then when you're ready to have it with your kids and stuff, you just go into the freezer and then just do a quick fry and it's good. That is so cool. But that for what's so cooking, cool. we'll do the abbreviated version. We'll just fry it once all the way through so we can eat. <laughs> Because we don't have a freezer and all that and time. And we're hungry. And we're actually... We and chop. we're hungry. Okay. This is smoking hot oil, man. Okay. I think it's all right. Let's let all those right. work. Okay. So you just stir them in a bit. Yep. So while those are frying, we'll chop a few veggies. Okay. Very nice. All right. Let me pick... Oh. Do you need a sharp I like the other... Uh, thank you. That's the one I was looking for. Okay. Peel this cucumber a bit. Kidoki, Ghanaian oh, woman. That. Yes, madam. I mean, whose other name is Laurentia? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, Laurentia. <laughs> Laurentia is Kokui's <laughs> government's name. Hmm. You know, that's what they say. Nay Salome. Oh, look what you I'm know, doing here. I mean, what was it like growing up for you? Growing up, um, so I grew up. I was born here in Accra, Ghana. Um, then my family moved to the UK when I was like, you know. Just put it here. A baby, like six months old. Okay, Ooh, I'll put the, the veggie. I was very young, yeah. very, very young. So I grew up in the UK and we moved back to Ghana when I was so almost was it 10. because of work on the part of your parents? It was, or? in fact, my dad was doing his postgraduate education okay. there. So he went first. Then, mom, let me, let me grab these leaves. Okay. okay, they're washed and clean already. Okay, they say we're not supposed to cut. We're supposed to tear, tear. these, right? So yes. let's tear. tear. Are we going to put the tear. salad in here? It's not much, but I don't know let me get a this big bowl. enough. Okay. okay also help it's pretty, out. though. It is very pretty. Very it cute. would be nice, like a cute very little cute. salad. in the, because Especially since it's not the star of the show. Do you understand? Show. So we're just going to yeah. rip some leaves in here. The chicken. Yeah. The chicken is then the real deal. We'll, we'll add the rest of the vegetables and stuff. Okay. But yeah, so, so growing up in the UK, which part yeah, yeah. of the UK? So in Milton Keynes, which is about an hour outside of London. So this was in England. This was in Engl England, England okay. proper. Okay. And um, the funny thing is, when <laughs> when we lived in Milton Keynes, you could probably count the number of Ghanaians there. But now it's like <laughs> yeah, Little Ghana. I know. Now, like, there's a whole Ghanaian community there, which is kind of cool, and African community as well. So okay. it's kind of cool. So yeah, grew up there. Um, moved to, back to Ghana when I was almost ten. Mm. Went to the rich church school, feeling like, like a, a total ass. <laughs> no, I was or, or, so. Or you, or, you, or you felt you left out. You could, very you fit yes, in. a very. I felt mm. very out of sorts, you know, because, I mean, I'd grown up. All my friends were white, and mm. <laughs> British, and I come back to Ghana, which I had no idea what Ghana was like, you know, as a ten-year-old, mm. and had this funny accent and felt I was very very shy. And I'm still very very shy. Are you? I'm very, 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 very Are shy, you? and I've always been an introvert. So it was, it was, it was a bit of culture shock. Oh, I won't coffee, lie. Coffee. That's that's, um, that's a, you just dropped a bomb. It's true. It's the truth. You're an introvert. 
big time. Okay, I can see a little bit big of time. that because when you're not on screen or you're not on stage, you tend I'm to very keep quiet. Yourself. I'm telling yeah, you, minding your own business. I mind my business. You know. I sit in my corner, do what I have to do, but, but then, I don't. But then you've you've grown out of it pretty well. You've learned how to manage it because yeah. For that work. doesn't stop you from interacting with people. You're one of the coolest people around <laughs> the office, you know. One of the people who really cares about what's going on with other people. Not in a nosy way, but <laughs> exactly. in a motherly, caring, big sister um, kind of way, you know. It's, oh, it's weird. Okay. So I'm going to do the... This, also interestingly, I found it. You're supposed to push the stems in okay. like so this and take them out. Well, apparently, they're, they're not on our... On our side with this. On thing. us. <laughs> I know. Isn't it cute? It's so cute, but we're not going to use it. School. Went to Richard's school, you know, had to learn to catch up with Ghanaian life and, and all of that. Okay, push this in, pull it out. You have siblings. I have three siblings, two brothers, one sister. So you're um, number? I'm number two. Okay. So I'm the second oh, born. Like big sister. Yeah, I'm a big sister and a younger sister. Younger it's kind of cool. Okay, but so um, but girls, I'm the first two girl. Boys two girls, two boys. Um, boy, girl, girl, boy. Yeah, so from Holy Child, spent, did my SHS there, um, then went to the U.S. for uni. Yes, you did. So <laughs> that was interesting because my plan and my dream was to go to Legon, the University of Ghana. Wait, hang on. Yes. Your dream was to go to the University my of Ghana. My dream was to be a Legonite. Why? Like I, my dad went to Legon, right? And you were very close to your dad. I, I, I was. Yeah. Um, my dad was amazing. May he rest in peace. Yeah. And he used to tell us about how wonderful Legon was. And, you know, and I thought, oh, I would love to go there. And my whole plan was, oh, I'm going to go to Legon. I'm going to become a lawyer. You know, I had it all figured out, I thought. <laughs> then he said, oh, you know, we're sending you to go and continue your studies in America. I was like, what? Because I thought, oh, my friends are going to be at Legon, and, you know, I had this all planned out. Nope. And it's all good. It's a blessing, right? It is. So, it is. okay, I'm moving seeds, if that's okay, okay with you. That's fine. Not okay. everybody wants so to season their tomatoes. So you went to which school? I went to, so for undergraduates, I went to Spelman College, which is in Atlanta. Then um, for graduate school, I went to the New England Conservatory, which is in Boston, Massachusetts. So yes. very different, both East yeah, Coast, East but, Coast. <laughs> but you've got very, very Coast. different. Atlanta yeah. is very, uh, you know, yeah, young African-American, yep. upwardly yeah, mobile. African -American, now it's like vibrant, celebrity central, very vibrant. Know. And back then it was, it was just on the cusp of becoming that, you know? Yeah. So it, it, was, it was a really great place to go to college. Boston, very new very, English. I don't know if yeah. you happen to experience a lot of racism at the time i don't know in boston you know they would tell us at the time you know there's certain certain parts of boston you just don't go or certain parts of massachusetts outside of like main boston or like dorchester roxbury mm -hmm. where it's very diverse and there's lots of there's africans there's Carib caribbean yeah. people you know um, that part of massachusetts boston proper is quite um, diverse right. and very cosmopolitan. Of you know. course, because it's also college town, so very, yes. lots of educational and, you know, institutions. Loads, there loads, loads. Not just in Boston and Cambridge, because yeah. you got Harvard and all that, but you've, you've Massachusetts in general. So, but they would people would say, you know, you don't you don't want to go even hmm. in Georgia. Atlanta is very much you know urban progressive, but if you Georgia go in the general, parts of Georgia, <laughs> you just don't go. You just Oh, yeah, cool, you know. Just don't go. And um, in fact, the last time I was there, just a couple of years ago, we had an experience where we went to this. Um, it's like a, <laughs> a holy ground for Native American. Yeah, Native Americans or something. Okay. Like a holy burial ground or something. We okay. went. We visited some friends and they took us there. And when we got there, you know, with my kids at the time, they were just the three boys. And I was expecting my daughter, but the youngest at the time he was four, my young my youngest boy, the third one. And he went in to use the bathroom. And I think when he finished, he kind of like my husband and co, I think maybe didn't realize he was still in there. So he was still in there. He came out and he was looking for us. Right. Now, apparently he went up to the security guard at the reception and uh, security receptionist, whatever. She was standing there, forest warden, whatever. And she, he tapped her on the back. Now, so I appear, I was looking for him, I came, I came out to the bathroom, I come into the reception area, and this woman says, um, you need to really watch your children because 
I thought I was being robbed. What? And I, so it took a me a while. I was, like, I was like, what? And she said, yeah. He came up behind me and I thought I was being robbed. So, okay. So here's me automatically just switching into, okay. Mother, yeah. Don't you bring out, don't bring out black the gun. African family <laughs> visiting a part of Georgia that is not very black. Yeah. <laughs> so just keep your cool. Don't go off. She's obviously very ignorant. And I'm looking at her and looking at my four-year-old child who was obviously looking for his family and thinking the first thing you could think was you were being, being robbed. robbed. And, and not only that, you obviously turned around and saw a kid. Yet, you still feel the need to tell me you thought you were being robbed. It's nice visiting, but sometimes these are reminders Why that where home? we come from, yeah. we don't have to deal with this nonsense. Yeah. So let's you talk know. about what you studied. So in Spelman, what mm -hmm. was your major? So in Spelman, my major was, so it's a double major in music and theater. Okay. And, and Spelman then, is an all girls. Spelman school. is all female. Yeah. So, you know, after <laughs> going to Holy Child. All women. Yeah, yeah. all women. Uh, it was normal you, for you. It was normal. <laughs> and I remember the orientation. You've got, you know, these girls who, this is their first time away from home. Yeah. Coming to college and their parents are there. And they're crying. And, and, this and I looked at my mom and I was like, like Bye-bye. My mom was like, Charlie, I see you. You know, this is not new. You're used to it. I was like, yeah, we've done this, man. So that was kind of cool. It was like, no, it was just a new, new adventure, new experience. And boarding school prepared us for that, you know. You go through those experiences where you're on your own. You, you've got to be a bit independent. But, of course, it comes with more liberation when you're in college. Yeah. You, you know, you don't have restrictions and all of that. So you just have to learn to navigate life yeah. in, a, in a different city, different country. But and what I, it comes I, with. So, Koki, you, you chose to study music and theater. But earlier, you said your dream was to do law. Yes. So, how did that even happen? Trust I me. I mean, of course, in many U.S. colleges, I don't know if it was like that in Spelman, law yeah. is a second degree. You don't exactly. just go in as a first degree or anything. So, you, you normally so. would do maybe poli sci, mm. you know, political science or sociology you could pretty much have any undergraduate major right. because you take the LSAT which is the exactly. law school entrance exam to yeah. get into law school so right. your undergrad major Does doesn't really, really matter, matter but it could help you do you understand in, in going and there are people who don't even I mean I have friends who ended up going to law school much later I don't even know if they took the LSAT there's just <laughs> there's so many ways to get into law school in the US it's like medicine oh, medicine is a little more you with French chips <laughs> oh don't worry I'm paying attention and they're getting quite brown okay I think the brown ones yeah, have the to brown come ones out have to come out so, yeah. um, so my initial intention was to do um, entertainment law. Okay, entertainment so thought, law. Yeah. Okay. So I thought, okay, let Why me that? do. Mm -hmm. um, I, I I just thought my interest in the arts. I had an interest in it, and I thought it would be a different kind of niche. You know, Were you than an entertainment prefect or something in Holy Child. In Holy Child, I actually was for yeah, a bit. Yeah. yeah. I was an assistant head girl in a, at a entertainment prefect. So, but. I thought so. This would be an interesting <laughs> niche to do law and to do it in an area that I kind of like. So, because um, you know, there you can specialize in so many different exactly. legal fields exactly. instead of just doing boring corporate law. Mm -hmm. Oh. So, <laughs> but then to to um, hey, no offense to the corporate lawyers. No offense. You come no offense. Us, please, please. Beg I beg. You. I beg. We are speaking but our truth. <laughs> I got to Spelman, and to be a music major, they said you need to have an instrument. And I said, I don't have an instrument. I don't. I didn't play an instrument. So, but I have my voice. It's okay. You have to audition. So come and sing. And I thought, okay. <laughs> so I went and did the audition. And I thought it was the worst thing I'd ever done in my life. What? Well, it didn't then, go well. No, I, I, I didn't think it did. I didn't think it went well. I was but actually prior very. prior to that, had you been singing? I mean, is your no. voice? Did you know? I mean, school in in high school, yes, in okay. choir. Okay. But um, nothing like what you do now. Not, no, 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 no. And um, I was also very aware of the fact that you know there were girls from all these great high schools I know, performing I arts. Have probably been touring already. They've been singing, yeah. taking lessons. Yeah. You know, they know their stuff. And then here was me, Ghana girl. Ghana girl, Ghana girl. But the voice teacher, she heard something and she said, welcome to the department. Wow. And um, <laughs> the rest is history. And then I decided to pursue it further, go and do a master's. Master's in music, voice, vocal concentration at New England Conservatory in Boston. And 
<laughs> that was that. Very great experience. The conservatory experience is, 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 is literally music 24-7, performance heavy. Yes, yeah, so I was about you're, to you're ask, re, it's when really we say intense. conservatory, unfortunately, we don't have um, have, much have of that kind a, yeah. of thing here. So True. what does it mean? Because th this is preparing you for mainstream professional yes. Yes. music as a career. Yes, I'm know? pinching a chip yes, because, yes. Mm, you know. <laughs> because you're allowed to. <laughs> you know? your, your life sounds like a movie. You Tell know? you. It sounds like a movie. And we'll, we'll talk more about it when we sit down and finally eat. But yeah, let's we need go to eat now because the veggies are. You know, our first batch of fries are pretty much done. So we'll fry the second batch. When we come back, we sit down and we eat. And then we talk to Kokui some more about her fascinating life. I tell you, it needs to be turned into some Netflix short series or something. We'll be right back. Something, something like that. <laughs> so I've been cooking with Kokui. Uh, we've been making hungry, handsome, no, hungry, handsome chicken and chips, right? That's hungry, it. handsome chicken and <laughs> chips. I mean, yeah. like, it's it's the it's the most elevated take I've seen pers personally on, on on chicken and chips. Like, it's not even funny. And then we have some greens here. You know, we have to at least appear to be healthy. You know, yeah. So we're right here. And so we're about to eat, but we have a guest, no yes. other but the Kweku David. Da, 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 da. On radio, he's Kweku David. On TV, he's David Kweku Sichi, <laughs> Mr. Sichi, you know, black coffee himself. Hi. It's the first I've heard of the that. First thing heard. Black, black coffee. But I call you that sometimes, yeah. you just don't pay attention to it, because I call you Grandpa. Or okay. Oh, yeah. okay. It's okay. It's welcome, welcome to Thank you. the dinner table, yeah. Quickie D. What's this with the hungry hands? Yeah, that's yeah. the name. It's, it sounds like it's, a description of your kids. That's it. Exactly. Ah. You're absolutely right. You know they're always yeah. hungry. They always yeah. eat. They yeah. always just eat it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Hungry okay. hands and chicken and chicken. Okay. So really quick. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Quick fix for the is. kids. Exactly. And yeah. they'll eat it. And they and like fried chicken. They like chicken. Yeah, they I like know. chips. And it's made at home. You can control what's going into it. Okay. Okay. That's I like all it. it is. So it's time for us to grab. Yes, yeah, so the tradition is that okay. the one who is the chef does the serving. Really? So, okay. It's so all yours, Kokui. Quick D, mm -hmm. may I offer you some hungry hands and chicken? Yeah, Grandpa. With, and with, chips. With pleasure. <laughs> Grandpa. <clears throat> okay. I shall ignore so those we'll give comments. you a nice piece of chicken. Which piece would you like? Um, pick, pick the nice no. one. This one? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Grandpa choose as well. Jeez. I know, right? I was eyeing this one. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Apioko is trying okay. to age me on the then set. Then we've got sure some why. chips here. I'm sure you'd like to take no, a few I, of those. I, just, I do it in jest okay. and love. <laughs> no, but this man is going to be 50 soon. Like, he doesn't look it. No, he doesn't. No. And you know what? Silver foxes are in. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they never go out of style. Absolutely. I like this one. This one. Okay. Oops. Right, there we go. And, go. and, 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 yeah. this, and a small <laughs> one. Which one? This one's here. Yeah. Happy No, you see, I, want, I don't want trouble because when the crew, you know, you know when we say cut, <laughs> I know we have to leave some for them because they've been amazing today. <sighs> the crew has been so good. Okay. And we've got our good day. So. Oh, yeah. To wash it down. Yeah. Mm. And to give us some energy because we've okay. had a very long day. It's, you know? It has been a long day. Yeah. Thank you. Bit of ketchup so, here. I mean, let's talk a little. I've been speaking to Kokui. Okay. Um, Kweku. Okay. What or David. Team? What should I even call you? Kweku or David? Like, or Kweku David? Like, should... you have options. Whatever, just, whatever you just call anything yourself. Anything these that days, can rolls you know? easiest off your tongue. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but guys, enjoy you your meal. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So, while she's talking, should we eat? Or should we eat? No, please, eat, please, please eat, eat. Let's mix it up. Please eat. Eat and okay. go. Because yeah. I've been speaking to Kokui about yeah. her life, and I mean, she went to Rich Church just like you did, but I'm sure. 
you had gone to Malawi <laughs> by, by the then. time she, mm -hmm. you, you know, know. Because who did high school in Malawi, yep. you know. Um, but we got back to her in master's class, you know, in the conservatory, studying music. Okay beefing up and working on her her instrument and voice was an instrument that she she she, she chose, played and yeah. studied and chose yeah. you know but you know there's this narrative that you can't do much with anything artistic by way of career by way yeah. of making some good uh, like a good living basically but Kokui, you chose to study music and theater for your undergrad then you chose to go and do your master's in music and performance. Then you came back and you haven't thrown it away. No. Yes, you're doing other things, but you're teaching music. Um, I've, I've seen the, the, the work that you're doing with young musicians, upcoming musicians, vocalists, it's brilliant. You're performing yeah. on national and international stages. Like you were in yeah. Kigali recently, yeah. you know. Let's talk about that. Is that yeah. what you saw happening? And <laughs> what has the journey been like? Because I feel as though a lot of young creatives need some of that hope right now they, they mm. don't see the future but you are living your dream basically the funny thing is i still see myself as a work in progress because the creative journey is it's always evolving because art is just it's just it's not stagnant it's not finite so there's so many levels to artistry and i think the most important thing for young creatives to to keep in mind is it takes time sometimes there are some who may seem like they have overnight success but when you dig deep, you find that this, they've been working. They've been yeah. working for years. They've, yeah. been, they've been putting in the hours, putting in the work. They've been grinding. Well, hello! Oh. Yes. That's the Taster General. Oh. Yes. oh, my goodness. The Six Star General. <laughs> Taster wow. General, welcome to Apeoko. the table. Is you know the one who showed up at the other episodes? Wow. Wow. The food looks good, man. Welcome. Wow. Do you have antennas for food detection? <laughs> I place GPS <laughs> over every cutlery here. Wow. So my system picks information quickly. You see, now I don't even know what to say when he comes because... <laughs> hey, where's my plate there? <laughs> There's no plate for do you, you. Do you even need a plate? Do just, I? Just pick a I piece think, of chicken no, and see, chew you it. you have your own cutlery, so now you should be coming with your own plate. No, no, yes. Let me go and grab it. <laughs> <laughs> and he knows where everything is in the house, like... <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Imagine having a neighbor like this. I know. Yes. I didn't even know he was at this wow. This is a star-studded table. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can see the stars. Mm. Black, white, yellow, green. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Please help yourself. Yes, let me start with a good day. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, you want to sip something first? To make my mouth sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Concrete, please continue. So, mm -hmm. no, I think that's it. They just they yeah. have to bear in mind that it does take a while for most of us, and Hello. but it, but it's worth it in the end. Yes. Oh, nice, yes. nice, 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 nice. International calorie International set. Calorie set. That's, that's good. That's sure yes, mm. with with proper gold and. <laughs> it was Let gold. I was. Let me start with that one. Please start. start <laughs> take whatever you need to yes. take and eat. The tomatoes good. is good, and the greens. And the greens, yes, we all need. We all need. <laughs> the greens make a face shine. Yes. <laughs> good for the skin. Yes. But Tessa General, since you've once again <laughs> rudely oh. interrupted. Oh. oh, are you sure? Yes. Oh. And uninvited to the party, you've shown no. up. Let me invite you to the conversation. <laughs> so we were just talking about Kokui, of course. And since you have GPS everywhere and on everything and everyone, yes. I'm sure you know that's Kokui, of course, yes. yes. She is a media personality, but beyond that, she's a creative, she's a, she's a vocalist, yes. she's an artist. Everybody, <laughs> <laughs> she can sing, she can sing, yeah. Mm. But, no, but Kokui, like coming back to Ghana, because I feel mm. as though if you had decided to remain in the US, or even did a segue into any other part of the West, it would have been easier because they understand the craft. So I, I'm, I'm guessing easier in some sense, right? But you came back to Ghana and you didn't say, okay, this place doesn't understand what I want to do. I will create hmm. my own pathway. I'll, I'll literally create my own niche and, and survive hmm. and thrive in it. But it, but it has been an interesting journey 
Staying up, I wouldn't necessarily say it's easier because creators are a dime a dozen. And it's, oh. even in what I do, you know, classical music still, you've got, what, sopranos everywhere. Metal, it's not... And th there's, something, there's something more, I think. Being, being Ghanaian, being African, there's a lot more to our artistry. You know, even though I learned a European art form, I feel as though my African Ghanaian roots have to play a part in what I do. You know, it has to be different. No, nobody wants to hear me sing opera necessarily because they, there are enough American, German, right. European sopranos who do that already. But what is it about me and where I come from that's different? Do you understand? That, 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 that's where the fusion comes in. And that's why I think being here is important because you're, we're immersed in what we have as far as our culture, our artistic expression, our different creatives from our background that we can work with to identify something more unique. So coming home, aside the fact that it's home, this is where our roots are, this is where family is, I think also as a, as a creative and an artistic person from here, I think this is where I should be, you know, and, and I just immerse myself in Ghanaian artistry and build on that. There's just something about being here and there's so much virgin territory here as well. Precisely because of what we're talking about, where people feel it's just not possible. Besides, I mean, you are celebrated for your difference. Exactly. Right? So, yeah. yes. if there's the same of one thing, once you show yourself to be different, yes. everybody wants that difference. Yeah. You know, they're, they're curious about it, they're more interested it's in that. It's good to be different, you know? Yeah. It is. It really it is. is. It really is. I mean, look. Harmonious Choral mm -hmm. took mm -hmm. us to the World Games, yes. Choir Games, 600 choirs plus, mm -hmm. and they won yeah. from yeah. Ghana. Yeah. yeah, Over 600 choirs yes. yeah. were competing, and they won they from won. Ghana. And you would not imagine that it was possible, yeah. but it happened. And I'll tell you what, it's not because they went to go and sing Handel <laughs> yeah. or Bach. Yeah. Yeah. It's because of the Ghanaian they, repertoire they kept their, that they, they kept took their, with them. Yeah. That's what made people sit up and say, whoa. There's a choir that sings in this voice. style, yeah. but they're singing Ghanaian music. It's so attractive, you know. That, that's what it is. We, we can have the Western training or style, but we have to infuse our indigenous art in there and make it. That's what makes us stand out. I agree with you. And now we have a lot of Western groups, artistic groups, coming to Ghana, to mm -hmm. the continent, yep. to come and learn new sounds. Mm -hmm. And we were having a conversation on diplomatic license a couple of weeks ago with. The legendary uh, Etienne Mbappe, mm -hmm. and then also, um, you know, Professor Doppler. Yeah. These are people who Thomas have played Doppler. on like mm -hmm. biggest jazz stages, yeah. wherever. And they said something. They said, "We want our students to know that what they think they know, <laughs> mm -hmm. that's all there is mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. There's a sound that is right from the heart, right from the soul, yeah. Yeah. and you don't hear those kinds of sounds unless you go to a place like Ghana or, or you know, you know, to Africa. So." Yeah. We have something, and, and we need to learn how to celebrate. I mean, look at uh, somebody like, um, what's his name? Um, um, I'll see you, my father. Um, I see my father. I see my father. Look at how he sells out yeah. international spaces. Yeah, we all are. Yeah. Totally. I think one of the challenges has been that um, culturally, a lot of people are not so proud of being. Um, of showing off as being African, mm. right? They, so if you look at uh, clothing space, people say, oh, I mean, I want to go to Paris and go and shop, right? But we have amazing clothing, you know, amazing. style, color, and everything here. Right? You can wear shirts like you're wearing that made in Ghana. Yeah. yeah. All the time. Juicy. So, so I'm saying that. I mean, for me, I think what, where we are finding ourselves now, in Africa, and in Ghana in particular, is that people are beginning to fall in love with being Ghanaian, mm -hmm. and showing off that. It's like the show off side of it. That's yeah. true. Is becoming more obvious that people are happy to show off that I'm Ghanaian, I'm African, and I think there are many things that have contributed to this, but nothing. I mean, it's the arts, 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 entertainment and arts have Same done it, that. have done it. Yeah. You see, look at sports. Oh. So, some time back, there used to be aircraft awards. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And aircraft used to recognize 
from folklore mm -hmm. to cultural truth. Mm -hmm. sure. But the current trend seems to be the one that you know a lot of people pay attention to. Without paying attention to the folklore. Yeah. yeah. The ones that we used to tell our Nancy stories. Okay. And that's unique. It's very you know. And you I think this is the time to do some of the things that we used to do in our childhood, our like just clearing things now to be computerized, no. you know, mm. to become apps, you know. Then the children, because now they can't go out and do that. They like to play it's with true. their taps. Yeah. yeah. So this they need where, to take it to them. To yes. the medium so they how can how can we play chess today on the app? But you know, during you know, Heritage so Month, it was great to yeah. have yeah. Um, people like um, Steve Nasef, Weedy, and then mm -hmm. Hannah Kwanza. They came through and they were showing us how some of our fun games, our songs, our music actually being digitalized. It was very interesting. And I would like to see the government, Creative Arts Ministry, you know, the, ministry the, yeah. the sector yeah. ministry, just do more with that. Support it, promote it. Raking, raking investment for that. Yeah. As we're talking about digitalization, these are also yeah. places to go. Now, so many young people are coding. All over Four the year olds, five year olds are coding. Yeah. Our girls yeah. Yeah. are it's winning. Yeah. 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 He's a programmer. Yeah. Lots of them. Lots Look, of African Ghanaian programmers. We have so much to creative talent, and one of the best ways to either create a narrative or change a narrative about your country is through the arts. Yeah. Look at what Nigeria has done. Yeah. There used to be a time where Nigeria was synonymous with fraud. Yeah. Sure. 419. Yeah. Sure. Now when you talk about Nigeria, and that was yeah. so long about ago. Their music, they talk yeah. about their movies. Yeah. They talk about their fashion. It's amazing, yeah. It's not, so amazing. Ago, not so long ago. In, so in long less ago. than 20 years, yeah. they they've changed, changed the narrative. narrative. Like when so you say Nigeria, arts. you're not thinking no. No. no, no, you're thinking, you're thinking arts, music. Music, movies. You know, movies. They've penetrated yeah. the entertainment, the global entertainment yeah. space in a, a way that has just. It's we, yeah. and we're all you know picking back in on top of it. But we could do so much more. They've really opened a huge door. Now, in the major studios in Hollywood, you see Nigerian names in there, producing, yeah. directing, yep. doing music, you know, like, they're really in the system. Yeah. And because of that, Look they're influencing. Netflix. Yeah. yeah, Netflix. They're influencing mm -hmm. so People much. Are Every making... other movie is yeah. Nigerian, yeah. produced yeah. or directed. Yeah. Yeah. They've, mm -hmm. they've done so, I mean, I'm just in awe of how they've been able to use I used to. Yeah. I used to notice that there were, when I was younger, there were quite a number, well, when I say quite a number, I mean, relatively speaking, Ghanaian persons involved in Hollywood. So mm -hmm. you would see a name and you're like, mm -hmm. this oh, name, this Ghanaian. <laughs> right? is from but now, what's happening is that not only are they there, but they are coming out to say, I'm from, from Ga Ghana. Yes. You now know? they want us yes, to know. Yes, they want us to yes. know that. Yeah, listen, that I'm from, from Ghana. Star you know? Boys, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> No. How's the food, everyone? It's everyone fantastic. eating, loving it. Thank I, you. So what's the name of your food? Hungry Hansen Chicken and Chips. H A C. <laughs> Please, we need your H C. Yes, yes. H C squared. Yes. I like to taste the general's name yes. of the food. Wow. Taste Guys, general. thank you for having me on What's Cooking. Thank you Afi. for coming. Taste general. Thank you for gate crashing as always. Not gate crashing. No. Okay. So what? How do, you, how, do you, how do you describe this? So what is this? The marketing scheme has been raised. Oh wow. Quick D, thank you for being a no, guest at the lovely. table. No, this was This was really. So we, and we need Taste general to give us his verdict. Oh, yes, please. We want to show. If you wanted to go into the books of World Record, let me try it one. <laughs> ah. I don't know what he's doing all this time. Huh? No, it was. He's, he's, it's not that I have to feel it. You know. In allow. fact, me, I've been sitting here trying to use fucking life. I just want to pick it up and finish, finish, finish the food. Wow. And you're now trying. No, no, it's nice. It's nice. Thank you. See, you. I like the okay. chicken, <laughs> the carrots. Uh -huh. No, Charlie. <laughs> this is nice for uh, a nice meal for supper, eh? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, light. Yeah. yeah. The Tester General's supper. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> So, since Kokri is here, what we'll say to her is brava. Oh, <laughs> merci. Brava. brava. And cheers brava. for that good day. Cheers, mm. cheers, cheers. Oh, cheers. Yep. Always, yep. always. Yep. <laughs> Thank Kofi, you. Thank you so much. Thank you thank so much, Happy. Thank you. Thanks for having me on What's Cooking. I days. know, right? <laughs> Away from the cameras. <laughs> Kweku, yes. thank you for coming. Through. Thank you. Do feel free to call me anytime. I mean, <laughs> once the food is ready. Hey, Uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grandpa. I, I'm not Tessa General, but you know. Grandpa. <laughs> but you come. Yeah, Tessa General. Yeah. Mm. Nice one. Look. Thank you for coming, even no. though you are not invited. No, next time we'll go to the moon because of you. 
Ah, why? Well, so that he can't come. Yes. Then even you. But then, how will you, how will you, will you there? Ah. Oh, but here I'm super. Uh, something. Uh, you have super, super senses. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this has been What's Cooking on City TV. Thank you so much for staying with us, for enjoying the food, living vicariously through us. But do try the meal at home. It's hungry, Hansen chicken and chips. Very simple, very easy. If you have kids, you saw how fun it can get. You can get them involved in the kitchen as well. It's a great way to introduce the kids um, to feeding themselves because it's a skill that they should have. Thank you, Koku, so much for Thank coming. Thank you, Api. Thank you. I'm going to steal a cucumber. We'll see like you next week. My name is Api Oko.